This is the video about how I was diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back, I am back to doing videos every week where I dive deep into a certain mental health topic and this one is anxiety if you haven't guessed it yet. All right, so in this first video for this week, I'm gonna be talking about how I was diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder, all right? So please do me a favor and share this video. Share this video because someone out there who you know might be struggling with these symptoms and some of the information in here might help them get the help they need like I got, okay? Because my anxiety is very, very, very manageable these days and I don't know how I would function or operate or do anything that I do if my anxiety was not under control. So just to give you a little bit of background about me if you haven't met me yet or you're new to my channel, um, my anxiety has been around forever. Since I was a kid, I was very nervous, I was always worried and things like that. Um, one of the things that I often talk about when I talk to my clients, and sometimes I've mentioned it on my channel, is especially my generation, like I know for me personally, where I grew up, in school, in our health classes, they only taught us about physical health, okay? Taught us about what foods to eat, how to exercise, diets, STDs, cancer, all sorts of stuff like that. They never taught us about mental health, okay? And man, like, I just, always felt like I was going nuts. I had a brain that was going a million miles a minute and I was just constantly in this state of worry. I was constantly scared, I was constantly in fear. So for example, when finals are coming up, everybody's like, okay, cool, I'll just I'll just study, you know? Some people would get stressed, some people would hit the books or whatever, like I would freeze, okay? Like I would go into this panic mode and it even happened in sports and stuff like that. Like, and like it was more than just being nervous. But the problem is, is since I wasn't taught about mental health, it's not something that we talked about, you know, like I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know who to turn to, to tell them what my brain was doing because I knew it was, was not normal, but I didn't want people to look at me differently. I didn't want them to lock me up in a psych ward. And like when you're a teenager, like that's this kind of stuff you think. Like I get a ton of teens who message me on Instagram or email me and like they have these concerns of what their family or parents or adults are gonna think. And I, like I get it, I was there. And the unfortunate thing for me was I turned to drugs and alcohol. And the reason why I kept abusing these substances was because they were the only thing that calmed me down. I had insane amounts of social anxiety too. I was constantly worried about what other people were thinking about me. I was worried about what I was saying and how I was being judged. And like when I drank or used drugs, all that went away but that developed into a full-blown addiction. And I just celebrated six years clean, but it consumed about a decade of my life. And the problem with addiction is too, that it only makes your anxiety even worse, especially when you're lying and you're cheating and you're stealing, you feel bad about yourself, all sorts of stuff. So what happened was when I got clean, and this is an interesting story, I've never, told anybody, and I don't know if my old roommates are gonna watch this, but if they do, they still love me anyways. I remember, you know, I, I lived with two of my good friends who I got sober with, and we were living in my mom's house, and man, like, I remember it was a day where they, they, they had been judging me, right? They had been judging what I was doing, how my sobriety was going and things like that. And like, I was getting furious. I was getting angry. I used to have a lot of anger issues too. And I was talking to my mom because my mom lived with us too and she was a psychologist. And like, I remember like, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. I couldn't breathe. My chest was pounding. And like, I was telling my mom what was happening with me, but I told her like, I have felt like this a lot ever since I got clean. And like, my mom's like, sounds like you're having an anxiety attack. I'm like, what are you talking about, right? But like when I sat back and I thought about it, I'm like, man, this is the feeling I used to get back in high school. This is the feeling I used to get before I turned to drugs and alcohol. Like that's what this feeling is and now it's back. Now that I'm clean, now that I'm sober and I was losing it, right? And 
I ended up setting an appointment with a doctor, but before that happened, and I wanna make this very, very clear to anybody out there who's struggling with anxiety. One of the things that helped calm my anxiety down before I saw my doctor was I had a conversation with my friends. We sat down on the couch and we hatched it out. Was it uncomfortable? Yes. All right, we're like feelings and emotions running all over the place, yes. But it brought my anxiety down. Like that's something that has helped me with my anxiety aside from seeing a doctor, is just talking and letting people know what's on my mind and as well as doing other coping skills like meditation and writing and stuff like that. But anyways, I went to the doctor and just a regular primary care doctor, I went there and I told her, and I was like, hey, my mom wanted me to come, here's what's going on with me. She thinks I have anxiety, I don't know, da 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 da. And she asked me a bunch of questions and we sat down and she's like, yeah. Um, and pretty much after a couple visits, she had diagnosed me with a generalized anxiety disorder. Now, because I'm an addict and alcoholic, I said I cannot take any narcotics. I might do a video this week on benzodiazepines like Xanax and Valium, but I told her I cannot have that stuff. So she prescribed me a medication called Lexapro, which I've talked about on my channel before. So Lexapro is primarily an antidepressant, but it also works as an anti-anxiety medication. And as soon as I started taking that medication, I started feeling a lot better. And the best way I can describe it, especially when I first started taking the medication was, I could feel my brain trying to worry. I could feel my brain trying to get anxious, but it wouldn't. Like, I could, I could literally just sit in my experience and realize that this medication was working. My brain wasn't going to the places that it usually went. And I was like, wow, these medications actually work. And again, they're non-narcotic medications. Now, I will say this, the medications only did so much for me, all right? They started me off at a low dose, then they doubled it, and they said, that's the maximum amount we can give you. And that's when I'm like, crap. What am I going to do because my anxiety was coming back? I get tolerant to medications pretty easily. And that's when I found meditation, okay? That's when meditation helped save my life because I can't stress enough, medications will only get you so far. There's a lot of other things that you have to do. That's why I make so, 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 so many videos for you to check out and start putting things into practice. Like I mentioned, meditation, journaling, having conversations with people, okay? My imagination Imagine fear will take me to crazy places. Now, one of the things about generalized anxiety disorder, for those of you who aren't too familiar with it, I have a brain that can get triggered out of nowhere, all right? If I am not doing the things that I have to do to keep up my mental health, my brain can just get anxious even though everything is fine, all right? Another video I'm going to make is about the panic attack I had at work, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, okay? but. Anyways, please, please, please go see a doctor, get diagnosed. If you can relate to any of this story, please go get help, all right? Medications can help you out a lot, but I can only do so much since you're my my virtual audience, you're all scattered over the world. Like if you need to talk to somebody, if you need to learn additional coping skills, if you need to learn how to communicate with people in a more effective way to calm down your anxiety, please try BetterHelp Online Therapy. They help out the channel. They provide a very, very inexpensive service for online therapy. I will put links in the description down below, but it can help you out a lot just simply talking with a licensed professional who can help guide you through and lower your anxiety, okay? But anyways, again, like I said, please share this video. Share it so somebody out there might see the symptoms that they have so they can go get the help that they need, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big, big, big thank you to everybody supporting me over on Patreon to help me spread this message of hope. And if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.